Today I want to introduce you to the first film in the Into the Dark series brought to us by a partnership of Blumhouse and Hulu. If you don't know who Blumhouse is, they're the ones who brought us Get Out by Jordan Peele, written and directed by Jordan Peele. Into the Dark will be 12 feature-length films in the horror, thriller, genre, subgenre that will be coming out from October 2018 till September 2019. One film for every month. If you want any of the cast and crew credits, you'll be able to find that in a link in the description below to the IMDb page. The Body is that first film that really kicks off the Into the Dark series. If you don't know, there's only four films out right now. The Body is the official Halloween October film. The Body is about a group of acquaintances who don't even really like each other at all. As they try and escape a smarmy, that's like the best word for this guy, smarmy hitman after escaping with his latest kill. So starting off with what I liked about the body, I think there's a really good use of urgency, both for the characters who are trying to escape the killer, as well as for the killer himself. The killer has four hours within movie time to deliver his latest target to the designated location. When the potential victims or the protagonists or whatever you want to call them, lambs to the slaughter, are on the loose with his body, that sort of makes things a little more difficult for him and that adds to sort of the enjoyment you can feel during the film. You don't want him to kill these annoying yet innocent people, but at the same time you also want to see him complete his mission, I don't know. Movies mess with people. You sort of connect to the people you see first. You will see that this film is probably on the lower end of budgets, but even though it is at the same time obvious, you can tell that they are really trying to push the boundaries of what, of what low budget can be. They also throw movie science and movie logic out the window almost immediately when the potential victims are trying to dispose of the body they are finding out that the breaking bad method takes a little more science than maybe they thought of originally i think they had really neat nice sets especially towards the end i think it looked and worked really well for what they were trying to do. As for what I didn't like about this movie, is something that I'm probably going to complain about a couple times, at least three out of four of the movies that are already out for Into the Dark. And that is a really unlikable, annoying protagonist, or gosh, I don't even know if you could call them a protagonist one of the main characters who I who I feel like the audience is supposed to like or at least be sympathetic of is just irritating. One of, one of the things you would hope for is that you give you give that character a sympathetic quality or something we can sympathize with. And then it's it's just not there. And oh my gosh, maybe it's just the fact that it's the annoying character that we're supposed to like. But why, why does there need to be a romance in this movie? There doesn't need to be one. That's that's the answer. That's the answer to why does there need to be one? There doesn't need to be. There's a character who falls in love with the hitman who is killing her friends, acquaintances, probably works better. But she falls head over heels for her for someone who just murdered someone else, murdered two people, and is going to murder more people. For this next part, I just want to give you a heads up. I'm going to have sort of a vlogging as a filmmaker series coming up called Hard Reset, where I'm sort of starting over as a storyteller and filmmaker and relearning everything, sort of. <laughs> Uh, and so that's why I'm going to have this learned section in my, in my review. So if you'd like to skip ahead to what 
my final review is, you can go down in the description where there will be a timestamp that will go to overall. Right off the bat, the very first thing that sort of comes to my mind that I learned from watching the body is that I do not want a tracking shot or my opening shot, which was a tracking shot for the body, to be a checking your phone or writing notes sort of moment. That's kind of what I started this list out of when I was watching the film was immediately I started writing notes for the film. I should have been hooked. I should have been hooked to a degree, but the I think it takes 30 seconds before you finally get to an interesting shot or interesting perspective in the body. I'm going to get rid of any puns that are not like character driven sort of dialogue lines or dialogue puns and I'm going to minimize all all pop culture references. It just got annoying super quick and I think it kills some of the rewatchability with too many of the puns and too many of the pop culture references. Despite the things that drove me crazy about this story, I think there's a lot of good in it. I think a lot of good worth overlooking the bad for. I think if you look at this film in the context of where it is as an, as an experience for the Into the Dark series, I think it's a really good start. And I think it's a film worth looking into if you have a Hulu subscription or if you're one of those heathens who looks up movies illegally. Don't do that. There's people who, who aren't millionaires working in the film industry. So as far as my rating system goes, we're going to call it a movie night film. It's something worth getting on the couch, curling up with a blanket and a bowl of popcorn, maybe family or friends, and just enjoying two hours of time wasted in a, in a good way. Thank you so much. I promise I'm going to try and work on these to make them better. I am going to do the rest of the Into the Dark series. I have reviews written for the next two films, and I'm regretting doing it now because New Year, New You is the worst film, spoiler alert, of the four released so far. But I enjoyed doing this. I enjoy watching the films critically. I'm hoping to improve, guys. Just stick with me. And I, I hope to do better for, for us and for myself. Next step is to figure out a better backdrop. Probably not for a couple of reviews, but we'll see. Again, thank you. Have a good night. And words are hard. Words are hard. They are hard. I cannot speak them. I cannot.